Hey guys, it's Jessie, and today I'm here with no makeup to show you how I get ready, I guess. I'm not gonna call it a tutorial because I don't, I'm not a professional and I just kinda do my own thing, but I figured I would show you guys since I had a few questions um, and try and do a video. So it's way out of my comfort zone, so don't be too harsh, but let's go ahead and I'll show you how I do just like a basic everyday fall kind of makeup. So I'll go ahead and show you all the products as I go and kind of talk through it. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I do use a lot of products. I really love makeup, um, even though I'm not a pro at it. Like It's something I enjoy and I look forward to doing my makeup every morning. So I'll show you everything I use. If it seems like a lot, don't feel like you have to go you know, use the same thing I do if you're looking for the same effect. Just suggestions of stuff that I like. Um, so the first thing that I use is this Hourglass brand. It's the Mineral Veil Primer. It has a little SPF in it, and it's just really good to put on top of your moisturizer before you make up. Oh, and my mirror is over here, so that's why I'm looking over here, sorry. So once I'm done with that, I'll go in with my foundation. Every day, you know, I can be using a different mixture. Some, I like mixing them together and doing different things to get like different colors and stuff. Um, but lately, I've really been liking the new foundation from Dior. Fancy, I know. Uh, it's the Dior Skin Star Foundation. And I have the color 30. And all my brushes are over here. I'm at my makeup desk, by the way, in my bedroom. Um, so I really like this brush. It's by It Cosmetics. It's like a foundation buffing brush. Um, it's like a flat top, really dense brush. So I shake it up and then I'll dab it on my face, my cheeks, nose, forehead, chin, and then I like to just pat around. I'll put a little bit over my eyes, like kind of up near my eyebrow. Okay, so next I will go in with a concealer under my eyes. I like using something that's kind of made more for under your eyes so it's not as dry. Um, this is the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in the color Vanilla, which is a light color, especially for my skin, but I like it under my eyes because it just makes it look real bright. I go in with my middle finger and I'll just kind of pat it. The same on this side. Okay, so then for any spots on my face, if I have like any blemishes that my foundation didn't cover up too well, um, I really like this little, it's from Bobbi Brown. It's her uh, face touch-up stick, I believe it's called. I have it in the color 3.5, which is warm beige. So it twists up and then I just dab it right onto any blemishes I have. So then I'll go back in with my foundation brush, whichever one I used that day, and I just tap on top of it until kind of the edges disappear and you can't see it as much. Okay, so while I kind of let all that sink in, uh, the next thing I do is I get this little eye, it's an eye basics primer I think by Laura Mercier, and it's in the color wheat. Again, I'll put everything like in the little comment or uh, description spot. But so I take it out and just kind of wipe off. I don't like getting too much. Um, and I just put it on my eyelids, a couple little dots. And then I pat that in. It just evens out your eyelids and um, makes it so you don't have to wear as much eyeshadow, um, especially if you have like any veins or anything. And then once I've got that on, I get my Laura Mercier, it's all the secret brightening powder, and I just kind of shake it up and then tap so everything's back down in. Um, I use this under my eyes and just over my eyelids. Um, it's like a white light powder, but it's like translucent when it goes on. Um, it just sets underneath your eyes, but it's a really thin powder. So I'll just dip my brush. This is a Sigma E40. It's a eye makeup brush, but it's big and fluffy, so I use it for this under my eyes. I tap it in there and then I tap off so I'm not getting too much and then I just tap it under my eye where the concealer is at. And then I take just whatever is left, really thin amount, on top of my eyelid. Do the same thing again. 
I get all the way up to my bottom eyelashes just to make sure that it doesn't get like creasy or anything like that underneath. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is I'll set my face makeup with a powder. Um, there's two that I like to use depending on what I've got going on that day. Um, I really like this Dolce & Gabbana powder. Again, so fancy, but um, it is the foundation powder. So I'll use a brush like this one. It's one of my favorite brushes. And it's an e.l.f. brush from Target that was like $3 maybe. Um, and I use it every day. So I go ahead, I get the powder, I tap it in, and then tap off. And there's just a very light amount on there. And then I just again pat onto my skin. I, I don't go under my eye with it. I just go on my face. And just below my jaw. I think it's good to use this um, some type of powder after your foundation so that if you put your bronzer or blush on, it doesn't like drag and get stuck to the wet parts of your foundation. I've really been liking using a face powder for bronzer. So I bought this one from Sephora and it's a good price. Um, this color is Deep 56 Mahogany. Um, so it's a face powder made to use as like a mineral foundation. So I'm going to use this Sigma Large Angled Contour F40. Um, it's kind of a big blown out contour brush. Um, I like that it's more fluffy so I'll get it in here and just like tap. And then I always tap off because I don't want too much. And then I'll just like pull my hair back and I'll take this in the kind of underneath my cheekbones or on my forehead. And I love bronzer so I'll bring it kind of up towards the bottom apple of my cheek right there. And I get like up around my forehead and stuff. So I'll get a little bit and I kind of take it on my nose back again around my forehead anywhere I want it just a tad darker I'll go back there and then I always go down my neck a little bit with my bronzer uh, my neck never tans the same as my body or anything so this kind of helps just tie everything together and then I will sometimes get an eye brush like this one um, so I'll get that. This one is a E35 from Sigma, just a blending brush. And I'll just tap it in real lightly, tap it off, and then put this in the, the crease, I guess this is called, crease of my eye socket. And then I kind of blend it up towards my eyebrow. Okay, so another thing I'm really into right now is blush. Um, I have a big palette of MAC blushes that I really love. I'm going to use a color, it's called Sweet as Cocoa. Let's see if I can show you. It's right here, this one. It looks dark. You can look it up online if you want to see a better picture. Um, but it looks like a bronzy, almost like reddish bronze kind of color. And I think it's made for a lot deeper skin tones than mine. But I really like how it looks. It kind of just gives the look of extra bronzer on your cheeks. And I think it's really pretty. But if you have really fair skin, I wouldn't use it. I would use something a little bit lighter. Even just using a, a light bronzer would be good. Um, but if you have kind of medium skin tones, then you can get away with it. Just use a really light hand. So I'll use that same brush. Um, yeah, I think this is the best one because an actual blush brush, it just puts on too much. Um, but so I'll just take a tiny little dab of that and then tap it off a lot. And then go in on my cheeks. So I kind of get the front of my cheek and then blend back, blend it around, I really like how that looks. I love using face products on my eyes, I just think it ties everything together. So I'm going to take a little blendy brush, I'm not sure where this is from, don't know. Um, but I'm going to tap it in that same color. So I just got a tiny bit on here and I take it inside my eye right here and then kind of blend it up. Okay, so then to do the rest of my eyes, I will get a brush like this. It's kind of a blendy brush, but it has a point on the top. So this is my, these are my MAC eyeshadows. Um, so I'll go into this real light whitish one up here. It's just like a creamy white. I think it's called Mylar. Um, 
I'll dip into that and then go on the inside corner, like the inside third of my eyelid with that on both sides. And then I'll take that same color on the same brush up under my eyebrow. Next, I'll get a little flat brush like this. I think I'm gonna use um, Sable. That's one of my favorite ones, it's right here. It's kind of like a uh, more mauve brown color and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And then I just go in that, tap it on there. I'm gonna take this on the outside third of my eye and leave the center kind of plain. Then I flip the brush over and I'll get kind of just like a blendy shade. So I think I'm gonna use uh, this one here, it's soft brown. It's just kind of like a peachy brownish tan color. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle of my eyelid to blend the two together. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a blendy brush and just go over it real quick. Um, a couple more things I do for my eyes. I take that same brush and I'll take the very tip of it and dip it into a darker brown. This one's called Espresso. And I'll use that as sort of like a liner underneath my eyelashes on the bottom. I focus it mostly on the outside and then just kind of blend it towards the inside of my eye. The last thing I do with my eyes besides mascara is I'll take a brush like this. Um, it's just like an angled, like thin brush. It's a 266 from MAC. And I'll dip it into my black shade, which is called Carbon and just the tip of it, and I'll take it and use it as an eyeliner on the outside um, top edge of my eyelashes, and just kind of blend it towards the middle, but keep it mostly towards the outside, and keep it pretty thin. Okay, so my camera died, so if things look a little different, that's why. I guess that means I was talking too much, so I'm gonna try and speed it up from here on out. Um, but I wanted to tell you that I did do my eyebrows. I use this Anastasia Brow Wiz. The color I use, I believe, is like medium brown. Um, I like my eyebrows to be a little darker. They are naturally darker than my hair anyways, so I go for medium brown. And I just don't, my hair is kind of red. It has reddish, a lot of reddish colors in it, but I don't love the way that red eyebrows look, so I go for more of a brown. Um, it has a little combey dude on one side, and so I use that to just like comb through my eyebrows and get them in the shape I want. And then this little pencil is like really small, and I just use it to lightly draw in wherever my eyebrows are like a little more sparse. So I did that, and then once I, you know, put the product in, then I comb through one more time just to blend it in. So I did that. Um, the last two things I have left to do are... Um, pretty much just my mascara and my lips. I've really been liking the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Miss Manga Mascara. I always get waterproof because it holds a curl in my eyelashes better. Um, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my Chanel Eyelash Curler and then I'm going to put on my mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my mascara on and the last thing I'm going to do almost last thing, is I'm going to put on some lip liner. Um, I used to totally stay away from lip liner, but now I love it. As long as you're not going crazy with it, it looks good and it makes your lips more defined. I really like it. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Full Color Lip Liner in the color 18 Addiction. It's the one I told you about in my last video that was missing in my car. Um, I found it and so I'm going to show you how I use it. It's a good little creamy uh, roll-up liner. So I really like these kind. Um, it's just a perfect like kind of brownie, darker nude color. I really like it. So I'm just going to line my lips really quick. And then I kind of just like go in a little bit um, just to blend it towards the center. So it's not just a harsh line. I think today I'm going to use this color. I really think you guys should try this. It's from Sephora and it was pretty inexpensive and it's a little two-in-one of this Bite Beauty lipstick. Um, it's a newer brand to Sephora but all their stuff is like food grade ingredients. Pretty cool. Um, the packaging is real nice and soft. Um, so this is a two-sided baby lipstick. One side is like a lighter pink color and then this side is called Musk and it's more just like a nudie kind of color. So I'm going to use that. 
And that's it. So sometimes I'll go over, if I know I'm going to have a long day, I'll do one last translucent setting powder just to kind of lock everything in place. Um, today we're going to the pumpkin patch and so we're going to take pictures and I want like a nice finish on my makeup. So this is again that translucent crystal uh, setting powder from NARS that I showed you earlier and I'm just gonna take my favorite cheapo brush from Target and pat it on. It's really weird because you don't see much of anything but it works. It gives just like a nice kind of light reflective finish but it's not like shiny or gross looking. Um, so I'll just put that on my chin, my cheeks, nose, and on my forehead. And that just kind of sets everything. Okay, so that's it. That's my basic fall makeup. I Like I said, I change up products a lot because I'm kind of a makeup junkie and I have lots of different things that I'm always playing with. Um, so I was thinking about maybe showing you guys my outfit since this is kind of like a get ready with me. Um, right now I'm wearing pajama pants, but I'm going to put on real pants and shoes. And I'll show you what my outfit looks like too. I have just a sheer long top that I got at Nordstrom Rack. Um, a big silver necklace. This is a gift from my uncle. I'm wearing some black uh, legging pants and they are uh, from Nike. So they're actually workout pants, but I like to wear them just as regular pants because nobody else can tell. My shirt's longer in the back and it has a cutout in the back. And then I'm wearing these boots that I also got from Nordstrom Rack. They're just like a dark brown color. And yeah, just very fall like and I think I really like this makeup because it goes with everything um, just very simple and I like the lip color I feel like it kind of jazzes things up a little all right so that's it I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching my long video hopefully it's not too much or too boring um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon bye